It's an evening of firsts on TGIF. Will you go to the dance with me? No. It's Urkel's first homecoming dance on Family Matters. Then, Frank needs some first aid. Step by step. Help me. Then, it's baby's first dirty word. No! <laughs> what do you call me? Dinosaurs. And it's Dorfman's first job. I want you to have these. These are for the patient in room 301. Guy's in a coma. Live a little. Camp Wilder. It's an evening of firsts on TGIF. TGIF. Tomorrow, come on down. Three guys give motherhood a try. Ta-da! Hello, Cinderella. It's the premiere of Full House. Then, the wedding kept her from being deported, but the romance will have to wait. Sing to you a Spanish lullaby. La Cucarat. Check. The premiere of I Marry Dora. Then, brothers and sisters. Edison uncovers a television evangelist. Max Headroom following the premieres of Full House and I Marry Dora tomorrow. It's a bit difficult to try and compare modern television viewing habits to ones of 30 years ago. I suppose the biggest television event of the past decade would be one of the Super Bowls or Game of Thrones, but even HBO's record-breaking viewership pales in comparison to mediocre Nielsen ratings of the past. If you ask anyone in their mid-30s to early 40s what channel they watched on Friday night growing up, the answer will probably be the same. Lasting for 11 years, ABC's TGIF lineup kept a firm grasp on Friday night ratings, revitalizing the Howard time slot and competing for the number one spot with NBC's must-see TV. Throughout its run, ABC attempted several new sitcoms under the TGIF banner, with none of them reaching the same success as its landmark shows. It's TGIF time and it's hardly a bore. The new season is better than ever before. We've got giggles galore, we've got gags, and much more. We've got a lineup of shows that you just can't ignore. So let's start with Full House. A proposal's in store. Jesse. Rebecca, need we say more? Before the official start of the TGIF banner with the 1990 season, ABC had a solid Friday night lineup throughout the late 80s, anchored by Webster and Mr. Belvedere. Airing from January 10th through March 1st of 1987, He's the Mayor starred Kevin Hooks as Carl Burke, a 20-something slacker who was inadvertently elected the mayor of his hometown. Producing 13 episodes, but only airing 10, He's the Mayor also featured David Graff and Pat Corley before his classic stint on Murphy Brown. ABC would strangely try this premise again in 2017 with another sitcom called The Mayor starring Brandon Michael Hall, a post-glee Leah Michelle, and Yvette Nicole Brown, and David Spade as a recurring guest star. This show would air all 13 episodes. Hi, I'm Sabrina, and I'm a witch. Do you believe in magic? In a young girl's heart? Ta-da! Clarissa's Melissa Joan Hart is now casting her spell in Sabrina the Teenage Witch. In the show, I talk to a cat. It's me, Salem the Cat. A book. Surprise! But at least I don't talk to walls like Clarissa did. Cool. Coming up next, it's Salem the Cat. All right, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I'm ready for my close-up. I love being a witch. Follow me in the premiere of Sabrina the Teenage Witch next. Based off the forgotten 1986 film of the same name, Gung Ho aired from December 5th, 1986 to February 9th, 1987. Starring Scott Bakula and Clint Howard, Gung Ho primarily focused on stereotypical Asian humor, along with several expected fish out of water trope situations, lasting only nine episodes. Also airing in 1987, I Married Dora was a family sitcom starring Elizabeth Pena, Juliette Lewis, and Daniel Hugh Kelly, right after his run on Hardcastle and McCormick. The premise of the show has not stood the test of time, as it focuses on a fake marriage in order to keep Elizabeth Pena's migrant character in the country. The show is mostly remembered for its finale, where the cast breaks the fourth wall as the final curtain calls are shown. I Married Dora aired 13 episodes from September of 1987 to January of 1988. Hold on, hold on. Calm down here. Mr. Peter! 
It's been canceled. The flight? No, our series. Oh. <laughs> Adios. From the producers of Full House and Perfect Strangers comes a new show predicated on this simple yet terrifying notion. What if you lived with the people you worked with? <coughs> Going Places, a comedy that hits close to home. Coming this fall to ABC. Airing during TGIF's inaugural season, Going Places starred Alan Ruck, Jerry Levine, Holland Taylor, and a pre-Melrose Place Heather Locklear as aspiring Hollywood screenwriters who all share a house. Airing 19 episodes from late September 1990 to March of 1991, Going Places also stars Stacey Keenan in between her roles as Nicole Bradford on NBC's My Two Dads and Dana Foster on Step by Step the next year. What is TGIF? It's your chance to forget about the week. Because Friday is your time. Yeah. You'll find the shows you know. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Behind the scenes looks at the shows. Look at this. And you get to hang out with TGIF stars even when they're not on the set. I'm on an elephant. TGIF is the place to be this Friday and every Friday. Because your weekend starts here. In the ever-changing world of streaming services, television network identity no longer has the same impact as it did in the 20th century. ABC has become more or less the news and sports division of Disney, and most people would rather watch college football than any new network sitcom or medical drama. It is unfortunate that a lot of these shows are no longer available, as they were never released on DVD during the heyday of television box sets and now only exists on bits and pieces in the internet. TGIF was when ABC became the family network, and without its dominance through the 90s, it is unlikely that Disney would have become the entertainment giant it is today. As television consumers, the shows that we love and cherish the most came from one of four places, and they will continue to no matter how and where they are viewed today. gets real with Boy Meets World. Being famous is actually a big letdown for me. I think everybody wants it until they get a little taste of it and then they can't stand it. I like it because kids recognize me and that is just so special to me. I never thought about fame and it happened so fast that I never had time to think about it. All new two of a kind, next. I want you to pose for my next sculpture. Next, Margaret's a work of art. Look at me, I'm naked. What are you looking at, Ari? A new all-American girl, next. Uh... Super Week continues when Al Michaels hosts a TGIF Super Bowl party. First, Laura gets down by Steve on Family Matters, then Corey's new girlfriend has her own Woo! game plan. I hope our three kids turn out as wonderfully as yours have. Three kids, what do you think of that, Gramps? So Dad calls a timeout to check the score. Nutcase? You think? An all-new Boy Meets World party on a Super Week TGIF. In the distance, around the corner, out of sight Knew somewhere your dream was waiting Hidden just beyond the light And all in the moment The series premiere of Sabrina the Teenage Witch starts right now 